Life doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. Come on up. Lay down. And we keep living anyway. Changes the game, he plays and he raises the stakes. So the plan with this video was to open it with more reviews like I did last time for Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop. Problem is there's like four reviews on my anime list and even fewer the other places I've tried to look because no one's really heard of this movie. So just to give you a quick taste, uh, here's a clip. Oh, 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 my stomach. No toilet paper? Do you require my uh, assistance? Uh, yeah, this movie's garbage. So, what the hell is Satellite Girl and Milk Cow? I mean, the opening's really nice with all this gorgeous animation of space and meeting the main Satellite Girl, who is just a satellite. My name is Kitsat One. I weigh 107.1 pounds. That's me. I'm a satellite. She's a satellite. You're probably thinking this is one of those like overly CGI anime movies. I, I promise it's not. Uh, most of it is, is not is not looking like this weird box. You know, when you focus on one place for such a long time, you learn to appreciate certain things. Oh, hey, look! It's it's live action pictures. People waiting for the bus. And children. Kits at one heard something that moved her. Because I suddenly heard something that moved me. It was a song. Oh, it's a terrible dubbed anime song. I want to meet the person with that voice. It turned out for the best. Turned out for the best. Because I get to sing about it now. I am watching the dub. Uh, I almost always do, just because I have issues trying to read like this much screen real estate and also watch the footage at the same time. Particularly for really like hectic anime, you know, uh, your Kill the Kills or your Mob Psychos, that kind of thing where there's so much going on on the screen while dialogue's also happening down here. Uh, I, I have a problem with that. And most of the time dubs aren't all that bad. There's some really great English voice actors. Um, in this particular case, the dub's fine, but it is definitely funnier as a dub. So we're gonna watch the dub. So after the title card, we meet the Milk Cow. <laughs> Willow. There you go. Come on, get in the frame. Nobody cares about this stupid movie I'm watching. They all want the dog. Okay, so the cow that can talk is being chased by a big monster robot looking thing, and then a toilet paper roll wearing a wizard's hat saves him. Strike the incinerator between its brows! Oh shit, the toilet paper roll blew up the satellite girl. What is that thing? It's the TARDIS! It doesn't look like a comet. Oh. 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 A girl. <gasps> a naked girl. <laughs> <laughs> toilet paper wizard's bashful, but luckily he can make clothes out of toilet paper, which is also himself. Boy, this movie really, really wants to be a Miyazaki movie, doesn't it? Speaking of which, uh, this is not a Miyazaki movie. This is not even a Japanese anime. This is a Korean movie um, based on a manhwa, a manhwa. I'm not sure how you say it. So yeah, this is actually my first uh, Korean animated film that I've watched. And Korean movies are usually really, really good. 
<laughs> this movie's not very good. Okay, so we're five minutes in and you're probably asking yourself what the fuck is going on. There's a milk cow, there's a satellite girl, there's a toilet paper roll wizard, and some dude is using plungers to steal hearts from other talking animals? And the hearts have a face on it. Maybe it's their souls. Well, let me take a page out of Best of the Worst and actually read the back of the box here. Um, well, first of all, uh, Pierce Conran calls it sweet and charming. I mean, I guess it's, it's kind of sweet and charming. So yeah, here's the back of the box. An out-of-commission satellite picks up a lovelorn ballad on her radio antenna and descends to Earth to find the source of such sincere emotions. But on the way, she is caught in a raging magical battle and transforms into Satellite Girl. Meanwhile, the balladeer in question, a loser 20-something at a cafe open mic, meets the fate that befalls all broken-hearted lovers. He's turned into a farm animal. I mean, that is sort of the plot of Lobster, which is fantastic. That movie's brilliant. This movie's just as good as Lobster. But love knows no bounds, and aided by the wise and powerful Merlin, the toilet paper is Merlin. <sighs> Merlin. Our duo must obey the all-consuming incinerator monster, the wily pig witch, and other nefarious adversaries in an attempt to be together. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's sort of what happens. <laughs> I love the way he runs down that hill with the fence. I don't know why, that's just, that's just adorable. What do we have here? Looks like it's my lucky day. Yeah! <laughs> Toilet plunger laser. By the way, uh, the reason I keep looking over there is that's where I'm watching the movie off camera so I can react live for you. Okay, so there's a dude chasing down the cow, trying to steal his soul or whatever, because he's heartbroken. Uh, the cow is heartbroken. And meanwhile, a satellite girl wakes up. Hello, I am Kids That One. Huh? What happened to my body? <laughs> oh no, Merlin! <laughs> And just in case you're curious and not quite sure if that really is a roll of toilet paper, Satellite Girl has, like, laser Terminator vision. What are you? I am the descendant of fairies, the wizard Merlin. Perhaps you've heard of me. Huh, toilet paper talks. <laughs> I wonder if that was another Ghibli reference. So about 10 minutes in, while the cow's running away from Plunger Man, uh, we get a flashback to how he became a cow, and it's just more of that god-awful singing. I listen to your worries like I know you would for me. Like I know you would for me. Look, dubbed anime singing isn't always bad. I mean, the Pokemon theme is fantastic, obviously. And uh, Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad, that shit has really, really good dubbed Japanese songs in it. Follow me. Baby, I won't let you leave if you believe in me. I don't think I have the heart to lie and say. Anyway, he turned into a cow because his heart got broken because the girl he never told that he had a crush on talked to some other guy. I mean, we've all been there, fellas. Don't lie. So watching the transformation scene, I I'm curious. I'm not a furry. Well, I mean, look, I saw The Great Mouse Detective when I was very young, and... Hey, fellas! I'll Hey, fellas! There's nothing I won't do just for you! I'm not a furry, but I'm curious if... Is shit like this, like, is that cow attractive to somebody? I mean, there's that one YouTuber who's, like, attracted to dogs. Like, real dogs. I am more attracted to dogs like German Shepherds and I want to clear the air and say that for the record I am a zoophile. You did not mishear that. Oh speaking of dogs, Milk Cow has a dog. Milk Cow also has digestive problems. 
on my stomach. But that's okay, because Merlin's here to help out. Remember, because, like, the cow's got the shits, and Merlin's a fucking toilet paper roll? I am Merlin, the wizard heir of the fairies. See, what happened was, I was taking a nap in a tree that got cut down to create various paper products. That was pretty much on me. Go on, help yourself, it's the good stuff. Two-ply. Oh. Oh. This is the good stuff, how fancy. Well, enjoy it. Each of those squares holds some of my magic powers in it. It's not all hate for this movie. I actually really do like the animation here uh, when she enters the room. I mean, it's not phenomenal, but it's charming and fun. Sorry, it's sweet and charming as the back of the... Mm -mm. Wait, your countenance is familiar. Where do I know you from? Oh, wait. Where have I seen this cow before? Wait a minute. Okay, so <laughs> the toilet paper roll said, Oh, now I remember why I know this cow. He was being chased by the incinerator last night. I recall now, it was the milk cow that was being chased by the wretched incinerator! That's the one! Huh? I thought that's why the toilet paper roll showed up, because he wanted to help. But no, apparently the toilet paper roll showed up just so he could be of assistance in wiping the cow's ass. No toilet paper? Do you require my uh, assistance? <gasps> anyway, the cow is so heartbroken and such a fucking failure as a musician that all he wants to do is cry and stay inside like a typical neat. So what exactly is a neat? So neat is actually an acronym meaning not in education, employment, or in training. Like the toilet paper roll keeps trying to get the plot going. Like we have to stop the incinerator and save the world. But the, the cow has no interest. Like he tries to throw the robot away. Like I don't want to deal with robot satellite girl. I don't care. Leave me alone. He always decides to actually join the adventure when, like, Merlin, toilet paper guy, says he can help him turn back into a human. Tissue, tissue, paper joy, turn this milk cow into a boy! <laughs> you folks ready for some nightmare fuel? <laughs> <laughs> the cow's wearing a human suit. Paper, so you must be very careful with it. Oh, the suit's made of paper. That makes sense. <sighs> Jesus, every time he undoes that fucking zipper. Okay, so we're about 20 minutes in and not a whole lot's happened. It, it's like this movie wants to be slice of life with some silliness thrown in, but like you open the movie with a chase scene and some weird world ending plot. The movie's only an hour and 20 minutes, by the way, and that's with credits, so I, something better happen soon, damn it. <laughs> We're just wasting time with this protagonist, now fucking lame he is. I mean, here, watch this sequence where he wants to tell the girl he's got a crush on her, and he imagines the whole town. You've had a crush on her for five years, and you've never gotten up the nerve to tell her. But you couldn't stand it if you started dating someone else, could you? You're out of her league. You're not rich, and you can't even sing. Besides, who would want to date a milk cow? If you tell her how you feel, she'll just reject you. Remember, this isn't a teenage boy. This is an adult who plays music in front of people for a living and his confidence is so low, he can't tell the girl he likes that he likes her. There's no way she'll accept me if she finds out I'm a milk cow. But whatever, I'm sure it's supposed to be sweet and charming. Uh, that way the satellite girl can fall in love with him. The more you help, the more problems you cause. Just leave me alone from now on. Why is he angry? Human emotions are so complicated. Except he's just a dick to her and she doesn't even know what human emotions are. Okay, so that dude with the plunger is collecting livers. These black market guys are always in the sketchiest neighborhoods. There's like a whole black market around stealing the livers of broken-hearted people who've been turned into animals, but that stupid machine is ruining it! How's business going? Uh, honestly, not too great, with that incinerator mucking it up for me. So I bet you're curious why there's a market for weird animal human livers with faces? I guess there's rich people who have been turned into animals who believe if they eat the livers, they'll turn into humans. <laughs> who knows how these crazy rumors start, eh? Don't know. Don't care. Whatever, fuck all that. Satellite girl's flying. Out of view. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Check up on you. Hello there. 
Satellite girl's stupid. Oh hey, another animal thing. How common is this problem? <laughs> Bye, pig lady. <laughs> Willow. Willow, hey. You see that you see that dog cleaning? Why don't you ever fucking do some work around here, huh? Yeah, you're too adorable to work. <laughs> anyway, next morning Poop Wizard explains that it's really important they stop the stupid robot. The incinerator is a manifestation of fear. The more fear grows, the more powerful it gets. It targets any and all brokenhearted. It burns them into a pile of ash. If this continues, more and more people will disappear. And before long, all the romantics will be gone. We cannot let this happen! Because I, Merlin... It's distracting to me that the cow has fingers. Like, he's got, he's got a tail, he's got hooves on his feet. Like, he's a cow, he's even got a little tag in his ear, but he has fingers. I mean, I get it, so we can play the piano and love story, but, like, it's just, it's weird and distracting. Uh, I mean, everything about, I mean, he's pooping again. I should get some rest. Such a foul stench. This is the second cow takes a shit sequence in this children's film. I'm with that dog. I've had enough of all of this. <laughs> like, it's it's not even like, oh, he's got an upset stomach, or, you know, maybe he might go. Like, there's li- there's- Why don't you sing? <gasps> Could you knock? Anyway, after the second cow takes a dump scene, the movie finally takes off, because now we know what the goal is. We have to stop the incinerator machine, otherwise the world will end. And we have to save the brokenhearted people. So, what are our characters gonna do? They're gonna eat, and the robot's gonna glitch. Is any good? <laughs> it's just like that scene in AI. You will break. God, the human suit creeps me the fuck out. Yes, ma'am, how can I help you? Why didn't you answer the first hundred times I knocked? You enjoy driving me crazy. Do you have a dog? Huh? And a girl? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to charge you more for violating the lease. Yep. Landlords are fucking terrible. Landlords are evil. The pig witch is here! There's been no mention of her. She just showed up now, because I guess she's looking for Merlin. This is embarrassing. Ah, Merlin! <laughs> Milk Cow is the only one able to defeat the incinerator and save humanity since I'm currently toilet paper. <laughs> if we get rid of the incinerator, all the animal turned humans can come back. That thing won't rest until he gets Milk Cow. Let's use that to our advantage. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? Wipe the incinerator's bottom? So the pig witch leaves after doing nothing for five minutes and then more conflict arises. <laughs> The cow is broke, and he needs money, so he decides he's going to milk himself. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I forgot about that shot! He's gonna sell his own milk. Incredible. Even as a male cow, he can produce milk. <laughs> huh? Why are you making that face, Kyung Chun? And why are your eyes closed? Milk me, cat one. Man, like, I'm not monetized, I don't have enough subscribers, but, like, I wonder if that would get flagged. Milk for sale! Fresh and delicious oh, milk for sale! Tasty organic. Oh, look at you. I heard organic milk yeah. for sale. Oh god, they're gonna sell this to children. <laughs> Alright, we're about halfway through and very little has happened other than the cow got milked. I do want to say, like, this is a movie that is worth watching. Like, it's bad, for sure, but it's, it's not the kind of bad where it's really boring or like, oh, this is lame. Like, it's so fucking weird and surreal and it moves pretty quick. So, I'll take this opportunity to say, Hesitant Lion recommends <laughs> Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. Anyway, after selling human cow boy milk to people, the plot comes back! You're the 
crazy plunger guy. What do you want from me? Isn't it obvious? What else are plungers for? I want that liver. Ah! <laughs> of course, that's what plungers are for. Uh, hey, what are you doing to Kyung Chun? Fuck him up, Kit Nine. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! You're choking me. Let me go. Wait, 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 don't let me go. Oh, okay, he's dead. Nah, he's fine. How does a cow have a bodyguard? There are a lot of fade-outs in this movie. It, it's like, <laughs> and they're not like evenly spaced, like it's not like every five minutes, oh, fade-out, new thing, it's gonna be fairly vignette -y. This movie like seems to have like a plot and like every once in a while that Merlin reminds you like, hey, cow, we gotta save the planet. But like, it, stuff just kinda happens and then it fades out. It's like they had no real idea for how to structure a movie. Case in point, now the boy is talking to the girl again. Is it that guy? The one who came to my gig? You saw him? Yeah, that's the one. What is he, a neurosurgeon? Or CEO? It's not like that, Kim Chun. Sure it is. I mean, I get it. Girls are into that kind of stuff. Smart, rich, and steadily employed. Yeah, only girls like people who are smart, rich, and steadily employed. Fucking girls. Actually, he's another musician. Oh. And I guess he's not as conventionally attractive or talented as you. But he... he has a heart like no one I've ever met. <laughs> You're more talented and more good looking, but he has a heart. You change boyfriends like you change your clothes. This time won't be any different. I don't like our protagonist at all, and I, I don't want good things to happen for him. Like, he's just yelling at this girl in a public park because he didn't have the guts to just be like, Hey, man, I think you're cute. You want to get a drink sometime? Like, I don't like this main character, and I'm glad he got turned into a cow. Who then got milked by a robot. If you were interested in other guys, why did you keep hanging out with me? Are you kidding me? Ugh, don't tell me you didn't know how I felt. Do you know what happened when you broke my heart? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you go, girl. What a childish prick. Did you just call him a childish prick? What a childish prick. God, that image. I want to get that image blown up for full size and have it hung above my couch in art. So Merlin's just hanging out, and the satellite girl is putting on makeup, and they're fighting over something that doesn't matter before he gets flushed down the toilet. I'm trying to give you like a beat by beat for this movie, but like it's so all over the place. So anyway, that scene happened. She flushed Merlin the toilet paper roll down the toilet. I might just do it. I might just jump, 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 jump. Kitsat One was launched from the Guiana Space Center in South America. Hey, that's me. Am I up there? Country drifting in space. Unfortunately. You see what I mean? Every time I'm like, ah, it's getting a little boring, like something stupid like her arm falls off happens. Maybe I was better off drifting in space. What am I? Should I return to space? Is it even possible to go back? All right, that was pretty cool. When I first saw this movie at Walmart, I was hoping for more stuff like that, you know, satellite girl stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Like the concept of a giant cow wearing a paper suit, like that by itself is so weird and visually interesting and messed up. Like, I don't know, they make this like a fucked up horror movie or horror anime or something. Instead it wants to be like this whimsical thing where the milk cow is introspective on a roof while the wind wafts through his hair. What's going on with the incinerator robot? Where's the plot? What's the, what's going on? You know someone's attracted to that cow. I mean, he's not an unattractive cow, like if you're into that kind of thing. I mean, the anime boy who's a cow thing isn't really my cup of tea, but you know, you know what I like. And then we get the trope where the anime boy falls onto the girl. Except this time he's a cow. I wonder, can satellites get depressed too? 
Why, why not? Everybody gets depressed. Me, satellites, everybody. Are you okay? Can you charge me? Charge you? Yeah, there's a cord in my back. 45 minutes in and we find out she needs charging. I thought her clothes were made of toilet paper. I'm gonna talk about something else while they have this boring conversation. So in almost every video, I've had XL Saga somewhere, like the box is in the background or I show a clip from it or something. That video is coming at some point. Uh, XL Saga is phenomenal. Um, take nothing else away from this video, then you should go watch XL Saga. Like fuck Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. Go watch XL Saga. It's legitimately one of the best anime of all time. Okay, that boring conversation's over. Now the Milk Cow's heading out into the world wearing a shawl. So she gets him flowers and he eats the flowers. The love story to end all love stories is happening right in front of my eyes. Oh, thank God, Plunger Guy's back. See, this is cool. Let the satellite girl shoot her arm more. The dog's driving the car. The milk cow, get in! The dog is driving the car! The dog's driving the car, Willow. You cow, look out for the plunger! I put you slow down! Boy, is it coming out! This car chase is better than Mad Max Fury Road. Witness! Witness! Let me do my stinking job! And that scene's over now. Still, cool car chase. So the plot is we have to stop the incinerator machine, which hasn't been seen in the movie in like 40 minutes, and they're just hanging out on the roof. Anyway, Satellite Girl is gonna make some spare arms, so she has extras, enough for a month's worth, apparently. And we're gonna get an extended musical sequence with this awful, awful song, as Milk Cow remembers that he likes piano. Trust in me. Let's fly away. Don't look behind. We'll fly away and hug the sky. I can see your gloomy face staring fearfully. Like it's cute animation, I guess, but this song is so bad. Also, there's no way she can hear him, right? Oh, well, I guess she can hear him because she's got satellite ears. Oh, and that scene's over now. Gesture, but whenever I'm near you, it's a happy day. Pick which is back. So what'll it be? Oh, it's you. <laughs> if I go with you, I have to give up everything I have here, right? Yes, that's correct. 50 minutes into the movie, we haven't seen the main bad guy robot thing in like a half hour or more. Here, have a slideshow of animals. Far away from danger, surrounded by others like yourself. No incinerators. No Mr. O's hunting you down, trying to steal your liver. So the milk cow says that the robot lady's not really his type and he's not into her, and then she throws herself away. Me and Cat? <laughs> no way. If you truly don't have feelings for her, then stop leading her on and let her go! Except I can't do that. When I'm with Cat 1, I become the best version of myself. What evidence has there been that he's like the best version of himself when he's around the robot? Sorry, satellite. <sighs> I'm a bad person, aren't I? You are a bad person. The cow word became a cow. The coward became a cow. <laughs> I have no idea what I should do. Ugh, sounds like a personal problem. Anyway, I must be going. Have a nice life. Goodbye, pig witch. <gasps> witch to the north. Wait, hold oh, on a sec. You've made your bed. Now lie in it. <laughs> Why couldn't I have just been a normal girl? I wish that I had just stayed in space and never come down here. Because then I wouldn't have met you. And my heart wouldn't hurt like this. I guess she understands human emotions now. 
<laughs> what the fuck is this? Thank you. What is this? You're a lot less scary than you look. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever. That scene's over. It's late. I wonder where she is. I want to live there. That place is awesome. Is that you, Catwalk? Where were you all night? You had me worried sick about you. Why you care huh? about what happens to me anyway? Oh, kids at once pissed. Well, I guess it's best if we just go our separate ways then. Fine, whatever. So they're gonna have a fight, and they're gonna throw toilet paper wizard around. <laughs> Milk cow, my friend. Let's talk about this. Why don't you just go back to space? Ah! <laughs> They've gone mad, raving mad. Stop following me. Okay, have it your way. Hey, the plot. God, <laughs> every time with that fucking paper suit. Oof, the walk cycle on the uh, incinerator robot's real bad. He's just sliding along the ground. No time for that. We gotta run. Milk cow satellite girl. Satellite girl and milk cow flying through the clouds. How do they have paperwork about this? You want that lizard? Yeah, of course. Why? <laughs> Those eyes sliding around. We can kill two birds with one stone. Oh man, that right there sounds like music to my ears. Can't wait to hear what tricks you got up your sleeve this time. That seems over. That's uh, that's some imagery. Why are you looking at me like that? Let me fill you up, kids at nine, and then you can milk me. What's wrong with your face? Your face is kind of glowing. Oh, sorry. I must have left the gas light on. My face lights up when I do that. <laughs> she left the gas light on. <laughs> this is so Pretty too. <laughs> I don't like the paper suit ripoff scenes. I mean, I do. They're great, but they're creepy as fuck. Are you doing? Uh, Help! <laughs> it's just, a monster! Hey, hey, what's going on? Monster cow! Put out your hands. A monster preying on he children. tried to run off with my daughter. So these people didn't notice the giant cow being flown around by a satellite girl. They didn't notice an incinerator machine, but they did notice and pick up one child. This monster belongs to you? I like the accent on that guy. Are you saying this monster belongs to you? Go on, say something. That thing is a monster. That's what I said. We can't really take our kids anywhere these days. It's not safe out Never. here. <laughs> we can't take our kids anywhere without giant cows showing up. Cows, away. What are you doing? Hey, wait, we can't do that, miss. Huh? <laughs> it's the monster we should be more concerned with. Look, over there. He's trying to hide in those bushes. Officer, why are you just standing there? Yeah, don't worry about the robot girl who just launched a police officer with her arm. We gotta get that cow! This movie's got a lot of creepy imagery in it. Catwoman, are you okay? We are an hour in, by the way. Oh, I hope they hold hands. Come on, milk cow. She clearly likes you. Ask her out. Hold her hand. Huh? Huh? Oh. Uh, do you want to go to the Han River tomorrow? Hey! She looks cute. Creepy, but kind of cute. Okay, this is so awkward. Uh. Let me 
Let go. Let go. Well, oh god, his suit's gonna rip off again. Cause it got wet. That's a pretty shot. Look. No matter what, I'll never let go of your hand. <laughs> Here. That was a nice shot too. Like it's weird. Like the animation and the art design can be really great sometimes, but other times not so much. I finally found you. <laughs> Stop lying. You're only here for his liver. <laughs> well, she gets straight to the point. Look, either I'll get him or the incinerator will. Looks like you don't have much time left. Yeah, there's not much time left. Hurry up. So why don't we eliminate the incinerator together? After that, I'll stop hunting Milk Cow. My business tanked after the incinerator came on the scene. Hey, everybody's gotta eat, right? Capitalism's evil. Yeah, I'll be in touch. See you later, okay? Didn't even say goodbye. <laughs> Nailed it! Satellites are so gullible, she fell for it. <laughs> Stupid fucking satellite. I'm not even sure what she fell for. I think he tried to make some deal about, like, if you turn yourself in, then I'll leave Milk Cow alone. I'm running out of power. I won't be able to keep him safe much longer. My battery won't recharge anymore. That dog is the best character. My dog is sleeping. Willow! There she is. <laughs> Nothing's going on in the movie, so, yeah, let's just sit here and hang out with my dog. They're talking and stuff. So, Homeboy says he likes her, and she's not having it. Be serious, Kyung Chun. You know deep down we can never be together, right? <laughs> anyway, she's gonna try and convince him that they shouldn't be together because she's a satellite. Don't look at me with those weird puppy dog eyes! I'm not a normal girl. Look! Look, I'm just a flat-chested satellite. <laughs> flat-chested satellite girl? My arm is a projectile. And my head. Do you still like me? You really don't get it, do you? You don't understand. I'm a senator. I'm a senator. I mean a satellite. I can't date you. What the fuck? Why can't you fucking date a guy? I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alright. Get a girl. We've all felt that way before. It's an armoire. Get it? Is an armoire even like a dresser? Run. What? She's heavily armored. Run. What? That's her armory. Run. What? Arms! God, the fucking paper suits are so creepy! Alright, we're an hour and ten minutes in, and he's doing She Loves Me, She Loves Me Not. Cat one. Where are you going? I'm <laughs> More movies should do that. Have a question asked in dialogue and then answered by the soundtrack. Cat one, where are you going? I'm leaving. I don't know why she has to go, but she's gonna go. Boy, I hope that incinerator pops up real quick. Oh, she's running back to him. This is more moving than the end of your name. Or the end of words bubble up like soda pop. Or the end of weathering with you. Flashback montage. One hour, nine minutes in, and we're doing a flashback montage. Remember, remember that time? Oh man, remember all the times they were. We had some good times. All, remember all those good times. The times, good times we had when you milked me. And then she leaves, and we're left with this terrifying image of a cow standing next to his human suits. Hey. It's the climax. I hope. Where is this? Like, where is this bombed out post apocalyptic part of the city? Not too shabby. She's red bait. What are you 
buddy. No way! It was all a misunderstanding! Okay, well, bye, plunger guy. Just fly away! Kill me if you want to. She can fly. ass is going numb sitting on the floor. <laughs> well, I guess she's dead. But whatever. That dude's gonna play the piano. Merlin, Black Dog. Hey, hey, mama said the way you move gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Milk cow, something terrible has happened. Cat one went to destroy the incinerator by herself. How do you know that? Are you? Uh, oh, he's running back to her. Uh, Just like in words bubble up like soda pop. And your name. And weathering with you. This is yet another suburban Japanese teenage adventure slash romance story that ends with a girl and or boy passionately running at each other. Okay, look, your name was good and silent voice was great, but I think we need to move on. Hey, a piano. I know, I'll play the piano and that will something. You'll see. Cat One, wherever you are, I hope this reaches you. Suddenly you came into this world Suddenly you came into this world He's going Super Saiyan. Oh, holy shit, he is going Super Saiyan. The fucking piano's flying. A universal language transcending time and place, speaking straight to the heart. What is going on? Wow. The inside of that incinerator is bigger than the inside of fucking Gluttony from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, the toilet paper roll made the piano take flight. That's, that makes sense. I'm sorry, did you think you suddenly made the piano take flight? <laughs> Only you can destroy the incinerator! <laughs> Why? <sighs> I think that's the last time we have to watch a giant cow burst out of a human suit. The incinerator! Super Saiyan Milk Cow. Run away. Run away. Run. You'll never oh, leave here. this place. Run away. I have no idea what's going on. I know we're five minutes from the end. From the end of, like, the runtime, like, I'm, I think the credits are, like, gonna happen in the next 45 seconds. Is that... is that you? This is my true form. <sighs> hey, Merlin's here, and he looks like Merlin. Well, no, he doesn't look like Merlin. Do not let fear imprison you. He looks like Aragorn, but blonde, I guess. If you ever want to see the light again, that's the only way for you to fully become human. What the hell is going on? Cat One, where are you? Okay, well, he found the fucking satellite girl. What? What? Okay. Fine. Huh? It's snowing! Okay. My name is Kitsat One. I did end up sending something back to them. This was my message. Even beautiful memories. And that's the end of that movie. <laughs> okay, uh, so thanks for watching this video. Um, that was Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. Um, if you've got any other recommendations for goofy-ass anime like this, or really any movies like this, please shout them out. Uh, again, I know this isn't technically an anime, it's a Korean production, but whatever, it was a blast. Uh, seek it out and find it if you can. I did not cover everything. Uh, this is a weird movie. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, another episode of Hesnet Lion. Uh, follow me on Twitter at George Efta, and I'll see you at the next one where I'll be talking about something better, hopefully. <laughs> 
Look at that. Now Willow's the star of the show. Look at those ears. Look at those ears. I should just release a 20 minute video of just Willow sitting on the couch. <laughs> Such a little star. You doing the numbers? I have a belly. You guys just press the belly if you want to see the video. Hey, what the fuck? You guys can watch my video. If you're not subscribed, press the button. Press it.